back in the hole. And I'm just tired of it, man. I'm just tired of being targeted man, by these people, man. You know, and it's crazy because even certain people here recognize it. The counselor said, when I went to my annual review now, I'm getting transferred back to the mountains, back to a level five. Even she said, you went, she said, I went seven years in fraction free, didn't catch a charge. And then last year alone, six charges, four trips to the hole. I faked an attempt escape charge, a fabricated attempt escape charge. You know, I was targeted by the warden for my homosexuality. He came to my door and told me, F you and your boyfriend, you faggot. So I put a prior case against him. I, they talked to me about it and just swept it under the rug. I had an officer as a witness and they just dropped it, you know? And now I'm back in the hole. I have, and then I came back to the hole the time before this for another uh, alleged uh, plot to attempt to escape. You know, and I, I just don't get it. You know, and it's, and it's like, because I stand against the corruption that they have here, they just target me. Like, I found out, I caught wind that the Minnesota administration was handing out people's information to certain individuals to con the state out of unemployment. So I had my, my fiance check into mine and found out that, yeah, someone was trying to use my name to get unemployment sent to some address in Norfolk, Virginia. I never even been to Norfolk. So we got that shut down. And once that got, once I shut that down, that's when all the trouble started. You know, now I just keep, they just keep finding a reason to put me in the hole. You know, now when I'm in the hole and they put me in for a transfer, but now they're saying they can't transfer me because there's no bed space on the level five. So they're gonna hold me in the hole for two months and I gotta do a step down program. But it's, it's, it's just, it's, 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 it's just mind blowing, man, because they got people in the yard that, that almost killed individuals here, that beat them up, stabbed people, race riots. You know, you got people in the, it's more cell, cell phones than AT&T and a Verizon store. It's more weapons than a hunting shop. But they keep coming at me. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just mad, though, know, because I stand against what they, the corruption, and I won't get with it. And, but I feel like most of that is because of my homosexuality. You know, the warden comes to the door and tell me, he's like, I don't care how many letters and phone calls your boyfriend write. I'm the warden. I can do what I want to do. He just knew that he was going to find me guilty for an attempt to escape. A fabricated charge that they put against me. But I beat it, though. I beat it. And they didn't like that. So they locked me up three, four weeks later. I get off of that investigation. Now they locked me up again because of an argument I had with an officer over a trait. And he said he felt threatened. So they locked me up and now they're not letting me out. Saying I gotta be back here for two months. At first they won't let me out at all, but now they're saying I gotta be back here for two months. You know, I thought we had a freedom of expression, you know, but apparently not. Now I'm back in the hole. I was 175 pounds, I'm 160 pounds. Because the trade they give us in the hole is not equivalent to the proper portion of what's supposed to be in population. They give us two boiled eggs, two slices of bread, and, a, and literally two or three spoonfuls of oatmeal on a tray for breakfast. It's, like a, it's a styrofoam tray, there's only three sections on the tray. The food, every, all the food is supposed to have its own portion on the tray. The other day we had fish. The tray was ice cold. Like, it's not right, man. And now, I speak out now because I see that this is the time because it's being recognized by so many people. I don't feel that now, if I speak out, that the retaliation would be easy because so many people are speaking out. Before, if I spoke out, I was alone, so they was they could have easily retaliated against me. 
I feel safer now speaking out against this and what they're doing at Lawrenceville. So, so if anyone out there can understand that, yes, I, I made a mistake. I did. I committed the crime. I deserve to be in prison. I deserve to face my time. But I still deserve to be treated as a human with rights, you know, decency. Anybody can understand that, man. You know, whatever you can do to help, I appreciate it. Thanks, Cam. Yeah, no one's real suffering in the hole.